Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100. And apologies for yesterday's uh, video. I got confused on what episode we're on. Um, I've uh, just been getting excited that we're uh, kind of coming uh, t on the downward slope of the Road to 100 here. And um, it was... Uh, I, I just got excited and everything, so sorry about that. But today we're here in the Crown of Sand. I'll get my head on straight, don't you worry. And uh, what we're going to be running here for uh, running with uh, Eva in uh, the Crown of Sand up, up here at the uh, very long run back here. Uh, this will be interesting because what you don't want to be doing is you don't want to be doing Crush Lightning. And so that's what we're going to be doing. She has a 25% resist in Phase 1 to Crush and a 40% resist to Lightning. And so we are going to be down 55% uh, of our actual damage overall, uh, which is more than half of our damage is going to go away. So basically this value uh, cut it in more than half, and that's going to be our dark value essentially. So pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Uh, but we're going to bring Mia along, White Mia along. Uh, she's fine to bring to this fight because she does Pierce and... Uh, um, Pierce and Ice, which is good for uh, the successor of the throat here, Pierce or Slash. And you don't want to be doing Blood or Fire, but Pierce or Slash or Light or uh, Ice is what you want to be doing. So we're going to kind of do all the wrong things here, and we're, ju we're just going to do it uh, Gifts only here. Uh, in a sense, we're not going to use our uh, weapon, so we're just going to run the pipe since its weight value is agreeable here at, uh, you know, the five pound, the five weight that it is. And uh, it looks cool with the outfit with the gold emblem on the chest here and the gold pipe, so it kind of matches. Um, but, uh, yeah, you don't want to be doing what we're doing here. Uh, but we, what the one thing that this build does have that you do want to be doing is this is range. This is all at range. Typically, when you're close to her, you have to deal with a whole bunch of things except the spinning hands. Uh, when she does the spinning hands, you want to be as close to her as possible. But uh, she won't do the spinning hands if you're like way away, far out. She'll be doing other things. But if you're close to her, you typically get the explosions and you get uh, hit by things that you can't really see off screen. And so typically what you want to do is you want to fight Eva at distance. And so this is kind of, uh, we're, going to, we're going to have that part of it built into this build. Um, but going for her, you want to be... You want to be kind of far away at kind of a medium distance. I know it's like hard to gauge distances, but I'll kind of show you kind of the sweet spot of where you want to hang around at at distance. And here, Blast Bolt, even though it's going to be awful, awful, awful damage, um, less than half of it, uh, it's still a very, 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 very good gift. One of my most favorite uh, gifts that we have in the game here. It's, it's uh, really cheap, really quick cooldown. Uh, really high multiplier, uh, cons all things considered, uh, 0.6 uh, times your dark value per ball that hits, and there's six balls for a total of 3.6 um, multiplier times your dark value. Very, very good gift, and lightning is typically really good, and crush is great for staggering. So overall, it's a, it's a really, really uh, highly 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 sought after gift so if uh, if you go for blast bolt definitely pick it up in aurora in the cathedral and uh, it will serve you very 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 well uh it comes from um not uh, rib cage but isis there you go you can see it there on the right and uh, you definitely want to pick that up so okay as we go along here we're not going to be healing uh mia along the way here which is fine be able to get over there. okay yep yeah, we should and uh, we just want to go ahead and make sure that we're getting uh, double gift extensions along the way here with, with Mia. Okay, delayed hits. That's nice. Okay, let's just see if we can kill this thing. Okay, good. We hit him down. That's very nice. And Blast Bolt for the finish. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting here. Uh, how we go about... Uh, actually getting damage out on these guys. Now we can go for uh, some backstabs here if we need to. And because we have crush damage in our uh, in our uh, gifts here, uh, we're able to like have really good knockdown and stuff. But you can see here that even versus these guys, uh, we, st we really don't have any kind of damage. Uh, that is okay. Wow, that uh, took me out uh, immediately. And uh, we have a really, really hard time with our gift setup here and everything that we're going to be running. Oh, whoops. He's dead. Now, what we could do is instead of uh, improved regeneration here, 
we could go for uh, lifesteal or regenerative drain either one would be fine but improved regeneration i think is going to be uh just dandy enough for us here okay and let's go for this fella good okay and let's go for this guy then now probably what we i mean typically what you should be doing if you're going for a gifts uh setup here obviously is you should be running merciless reaper but uh, since I don't want to ignore her uh, defenses, I want to have all of the pain of her uh, defenses against me. And so we are going to uh, run that here against uh, Eva, or the successor of the throat. And uh, this will help us um, to have the most pain uh, that we can absolutely have when we fight her. Uh, for these guys through here, I mean, obviously, Crush is pretty good for them. Um, but lightning is not what you want to be doing with these guys either. And so it's kind of uh, uh, different here for these fellas uh, than it is for the uh, successor. Uh, but uh, it's it's uh, really, really, really exceptionally bad for the successor fight. But the again, the only thing that will give us a very, very good um, edge kind of on her will be the fact that we are doing... Um, crush at a distance, which will be very, very, very handy uh, indeed. Now, during the fight, uh, the only kind of i recovery that we're going to have is uh, Blood Sacrifice. Now, and, and that's completely fine. We'll, we'll be fine with it. Um, but uh, the cool thing is, is that we'll be able to... Whoops. Am I going to make it? Nope, not quite. You can uh, make it through here in a one cycle if you need to. Um, it's uh, pretty hard to make it happen, but you gotta kind of read the frames as they go along here uh, to, to make it up. And I missed this guy. Okay. okay, we are pretty much dead uh, in an almost accidental kind of a way there, uh, but that's okay. Good. And we have no i to speak of. But uh, hopefully we can hit this guy from here, get him to come over here, and uh, maybe, there we go, maybe get a backstab, please, nope, nope, we're too close or something, there we go, <laughs> we're too close, and I can't uh, actually get him into a backstab there, unfortunately, good, and he's toast, alright, now as we get into these guys up here, the ninja boys, uh, we're definitely going to have to get a few backstabs along the way here. Yes, uh, you go away. Good backstab here. This guy will run up and do a perfectly timed attack against us here. Okay. Mia, thank you. Good. She's going to go uh, heal herself, hopefully. Good. Okay. Hang out there for a second. Uh, Mia, okay. Let's go ahead and heal up and uh, get some i back shooters. here. Yeah, shooters, they're gonna be gone in no time. Okay, so uh, if we if we can use our gifts here to our greatest uh, ability, we can uh, kill a few of these things before they actually get close to us. Hopefully. Nope. Okay, blast bolt go. Oh boy. I have blast bolt as well, so this guy, even even this guy knows that it's that it's the best um, the best gift in the game, <laughs> uh, and he's using it as well, which is pretty sweet to see the enemies having access to that as well, because it's just that good of a gift overall. Okay, and having um, Mia White Mia along for guardian aid is exceptional here, so that's why we're bringing her along as well. Uh, okay, and. My computer is, uh, <laughs> not, uh, oh, good grief, this thing's here. Okay, let's, let's just run, uh, since we have Guardian 8 active and everything, and, uh, we're kind of out of high core and all that, uh, anyways, and since we don't really need to fight these guys, and the run back to Eva is gonna be long enough as it is, uh, we'll just head on our merry way here, and use the iframes and everything, uh, and since we're doing really bad damage anyways overall uh, with what we have set up here, we're just going to 
run this. Now, fortunately, we do have lightning charge, so it will be pretty simple of a uh, of a run back here uh, if uh, if and when we die here to the successor of the throat. Okay, so all things considered, uh, pretty not painful so far. Now, I'm not using uh, Supernatural Blood or any of that uh, from Harmonia, just to kind of make it a, a more fair fight uh, for the i uh, reasons and stuff. Um, so we're going to make sure that we, um, whoops, that we uh, don't abuse that too hard uh, for the fight. Uh, but it will it will be good enough uh, for what we're going to be doing. Pay me up. You take your time. I'm going to go up. I'll see you when we get up there. Now, uh, sometimes your partner can fall and kill themselves here in this elevator shaft. So uh, you got to keep an eye on that. Be kind of careful about that. Okay, now, uh, typically here, I uh, fall off the edge um, if I do too many uh, runs. So make sure you uh, don't do a fourth run there. All right, now for the fight here with Eva, I mean, we, again, the only thing that we're going to have uh, good going for us here is the fact that we are going to be um, doing our damage at a distance here, which is very, very, very nice. Okay, Mia gave us gift extension, so we're good to go here. Good. And we need to uh, load up as much as we possibly can here. Now having double uh, gift accelerators here is very, very good for both Mia and myself. Okay. And you can see how much faster I can cast as compared to, uh, you know, what she's doing there. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Let's go for one more. We'll go for gift accelerator. And uh, let's get it. Uh, whoops, not this. Uh, blast bolt. There we go. Almost uh, made a goof there. <laughs> that would have been bad. And let's go, Eva. Let's, uh, may the, may the best waifu win. We all know it's you anyways, but, you know, any, uh, still. Okay, that was not good. I, uh, wasn't paying attention there, really. Okay, more hands, let's heal. Okay, can't, uh, let's just go ahead and die. Mia will give us the, the hand, or the heal there. So that'll be very, very good for us. Okay. And let's heal again, since I'm not paying attention very well. We lost uh, basically all of our gifts and everything. Uh, with no ability to heal here, which is really bad. Okay. We, okay. I've uh, screwed this up more times than I care to uh, think about here at the moment. <laughs> so we're just going to reset that and go back. Um, yeah, that was a really, really bad start. Really, really bad engagement all around. Uh, everything went wrong, um, and uh, I was not paying attention. Uh, range. Okay. Anyways, uh, let me get my head on straight here. Like I said, I've been kind of in a in a goof uh, phase here for for a minute, um, but uh, we'll we'll get it back on track here. All right. But yes, uh, do not do crush lightning uh, by any means versus Eva. I, it, uh, the only reason we're actually having any kind of um, success here is again, uh, if we if we do have success, it's only because of the fact that we are um, up close and personal with her to make sure that we um, do distance damage instead of doing uh, damage right next to her. Um, you can do. Uh, damage close to her, but uh, you have a lot, 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 whoops, a lot more to worry about than uh, you do at a distance because you can keep her in full view and uh, you can also pay attention to everything that's coming kind of behind you in a sense because most of you is, or most of the arena is in view. So keep that in mind. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, try this again here. All right, and buff time. So I wanted to do a more uh, gift-centered uh, build this time around, rather than going for what we've been doing with uh, the the setups and everything, um, because I can't, I don't have a good um, crush blood uh, lightning combo kind of weapon, and so this is uh, kind of the most damage reduction I could 
I could uh, pick for myself here. Oops. I uh, got everything there at uh, damage reduction where we should not have. Okay. That was a much better uh, round there. Ouch. Okay, never mind. We got caught at a bad uh, dodge there. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Now, unfortunately, we can't heal Mia here. Fine. Okay, that was good uh, damage there. For a, uh, yeah, this leak is uh, gonna kill us. Um, I put coagulant. Oh, I was in the tornado. I did not realize that. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay, no heal. Let's go ahead and heal. Twice, actually, would be, would be very, very nice. Okay, they're coming after me. Can't see the hands. Okay. Man, using a plasma roar there is just not working. Of course, the hands are coming after me. Let's heal. Okay. Man, I just uh, can't get the attacks off here. Okay, cleansing light is over. This is bad. Coming after me. Okay. Oh, we're we're in over our head, Mia. Don't you worry about that. Oh, she had an extra one. Okay. Uh, blood awakening is over. Let's go ahead and heal. And all the uh, cast times are significantly delayed. So there, uh, we did it in one, uh, well, uh, I guess we could count it one. But see, because we were not up close to her, we weren't uh, having to dodge the uh, explosions or anything like that. And uh, if, we, uh, if we fight her with uh, Slash Ice or Pierce Ice, um, this goes so much faster than uh, what we have here, and uh, there's um, there's a better way, obviously, to do this um, than what we did because we did the strengths version. And if we go and do and uh, pick up this same build here, and we go for uh, Pierce Ice, um, and we go for Frost Stream, and let's see, another Pierce. Ice would be this, and so these three gifts would be your fierce ice. And if we go and do, um, we do her again here, you'll see a uh, very, very significant difference. And especially if we uh, run Merciless Reaper as well, you'll see a very, very, very significant uh, damage change. And instead of uh, these guys, so if we run, uh, well, if you run Merciless Reaper, you have to do the Blood Sacrifice route. If you run Supernatural Blood, you can just run more uh, i -Core recovery along the way. Um, so I think for this, we'll just stick with what we have here, and we'll go for Merciless Reaper. And uh, you'll see here that uh, the Ice Pierce version like is uh, far superior Thanks. to the Lightning Crush version that we were uh, just doing. Okay, and Reaper. Good. And we got double gift extension now, so um, what uh, Blood Awakening is amazing, amazing, amazing for this. Okay, good. And one more and then heal. And a gift accelerator. Okay, and now we go. Okay, and uh, that's the nice thing about what we're doing here is that the, uh, the uh, ice version here uh, is uh, is really really good and if you can get up close uh, with um, Icarus Ice there it does very very well okay.
Okay, and you can see that she's like almost dead already, um, which is pretty incredible. Okay. Whoops. Well, we took one to the face. But you can see uh, just the uh, the significant damage increase that we have here, um, just because of the fact that uh, we're doing uh, fierce ice, which is you know her weakness um and so that that goes much 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 faster so if you're looking for like a gifts way to take her down uh this is this is a really good one a really good way to go through it um and because we have a uh, mind of b here uh we could mix in an aurora flash as well so that way we don't have uh reaper uh activating and deactivating because uh Horfrost stream does focus damage and focus damage, for whatever reason, it takes away, um, or balance damage, I guess you could call it, uh, it takes away Merciless Reaper. So if we go for this again, um, I know we're supposed to be talking about her strengths here and everything, but uh, I, I kind of want to show, because she's, uh, you know, obviously she's Eva, um, I want to show a little bit more about her than just her uh, strengths and her uh, weaknesses all at the same time. So uh, this is kind of a, um, you know, a, a twofer here with her okay and uh, if we head on in okay and wait for the damage reduction to end okay 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 so pretty good, uh, pretty good set there with the damage that we were able to get. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> it goes much faster. Um, it goes much, much, much faster uh, when you uh, when you run this kind of a setup here instead of uh, going for the uh, crush lightning versions um, and. Uh, even though, uh, even though she does have a um, weakness to, or a strength to uh, pierce, or um, to bl blood and fire, uh, it's a 20% damage reduction on, on blood and fire. So if you wanted to try and go for uh, something like, uh, uh, you could go for Artemis here and run um, the two, uh, the two fast casting uh, pierce gifts here, these two, um, but you will lose 20% damage um, multiplicative to her uh, pierce resistance just because of these two. So you uh, you don't want to be going um, blood, lightning, or fire against her if you, if you can all help it. Um, definitely go for ice versus her. Um, also you could go for frost wave if you have a light build, so your, your light build would be uh, ice barrage, frost spike, and um, Frost Wave. Those three will be your Pierce Ices for light values if you indeed want to go for um, a, a light setup. Uh, but for the dark setup, um, the, the three best are Aurora Flash, Guard of Honor, and Icarus Ice. Mainly Icarus Ice and Aurora Flash because those cooldowns, uh, one second cooldown when paired with uh, Mia and Blood Awakening. This is a two and a half second cooldown when paired with Mia and this is a two and a half second cooldown when paired with me so all of your gifts are very 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 fast in how they uh execute here along the way now if you could go for the light setup you got a, a one second cooldown there you got a five second cooldown there and you got a two and a half second cooldown here so a little bit uh longer of cooldowns overall um as compared to these three but uh, dark is much more accessible so if you're going for um, any of the dark values, you know, I mean, you could go for uh, some Queen Slayer, you, uh, you could go for Caster, you could go for Ribcage, Isis, Artemis, um, let's see, uh, you could even go for like a Dark Knight weirdness here, uh, if you wanted to, uh, definitely Queen, uh, Queen's Claw, um, you could go for Warrior somewhat, uh, Ishtar is not bad, uh, definitely Perseus is a great option, uh, uh, the Queen's Throat, obviously, because it's a, um, it comes from Successor of the Throat, so, yep, um, but there's a lot of good options here, but, uh, this is, this is a really good, uh, setup here, and what we were running before with Blast Bolt, 
uh, Rage of Pacunus, and Plasma Roar. These three are awful, 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 awful. I know most people like their one-handed swords, so finally you get a boss here that you in that you uh, can do very, very well with uh, Ice Slash. And so since there's, you know, um, a sword for that, Ice Slash, uh, you could go for the Ice Blood with against her with a stun build, and it's uh, pretty ridiculous how how fast you can uh, absolutely decimate her. I do have a couple of sp uh, speed kills on her on the channel here if you're interested in those, um, but Ice Slash or Ice Pierce uh, is absolutely the way to go. Do not do Lightning Crush or um, Blood and Fire. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you uh, in the Crypt Spire or the Queen's Knight. Uh, we haven't done the Queen's Knight in a long time, and uh, I think he's kind of overlooked sometimes, but he's a great boss, and I think we'll visit him next, and then we'll go to the tower. So uh, we'll see you guys in the memories next.